While flooding has been a temporary issue for multiple Wisconsin communities this year, one town says they haven't gotten a break. Adam Duxter spent time with the Crystal Lake community that says the water is only getting worse. Yeah, well, Amanda, flooding in Crystal Lake has not only been an issue historically, it's also historically bad this past year. Folks who showed me around today say they're running out of patience. All this berming was put in all the way around that you see the berming. Bill McFarland is worried that his home at Shep's Resort on Crystal Lake is becoming more in danger with each and every drop of rain. Well, we're nervous. We're afraid that uh, Dale might throw the towel in and close this place down and then everybody here loses their dream. Everybody. Bill and others, like neighbor Beth Stelberg, have been here for years. When it's dry, they say it's beautiful. And even though there's a history of flooding here, they say it's never been anything like this. We have a new weather trend. Um, last year we had a lot more rain. This year we had a lot more rain. And because we have basin lakes, they have no place to drain. So we have to figure out some way to get rid of this water. One of their sons had developed it. As Today I toured the resort with both Bill and Beth and saw the impacts the floods have had on Crystal, Fish, and Mud Lake, which are now beginning to run into one another. You can't get into our resort because the road into our resort is flooded. There are more trailers flooded. Eight people have lost their homes. This is what we ended up with. The residents here have been asking for relief for months now. On Monday, the town will meet again with representatives from the DNR and the state. Bill says a solution can't come soon enough. Every day we pump and we can't pump enough fast enough to take the water level down. So we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because they say pump, we pump, but the rain comes down faster. Faster and harder, leaving this community searching for hope. It's to the point now where people's businesses and livelihoods are being destroyed. Bill McFarland told me he's called several community groups, including Columbia County Emergency Services, the DNR, the Governor's Office, the National Guard, and he's been asking them to come to Monday's meeting. He says one thing is for sure, the lakes are rising faster than the pumps can get this water out. All right, thank you so much, Adam.